Hi, good afternoon everyone. My name is Dilpreet Sonpal. I'm RP and Automation Consultant for Fusion Global Business Solution. In this video, I would just quickly like to touch upon the power of integration of BMC Helix Digital Workplace with Automation Anywhere. So what I wish to demonstrate here in this video is the power of zero touch automation. So what I have here is few use cases which we would very often find ourselves doing is like Active Directory Password Reset, a request to grant an access to a file share, enable or disable Active Directory users and users onboarding on platforms such as Salesforce. So let's have a quick uh, run through uh, on this service request. So what it does is that it basically accepts the name of a user for which you would like the password to be reset and based on the questions attached with the uh, work order you can have which directory services and you can also build uh, the approval processes if you do not fall under uh, or if you're not authorized to uh, reset password on the domain so let's say in this case we're going to reset the password for user Aryan on active directory based in the uk now hit submit and what it does in the back a uh, it's a trigger and uh, trigger a bot on automation anywhere and uh, like now what we have here is automation anywhere bot triggered and we will have our brand new password done for this user so while we wait for that service request to pop up here what we can quickly do is do another request about grant and file share access and collectively then we can towards the end we can check how successful our bots were now on the same user Aryan and we try to grant some file level access on a file server based in the UK and let's say we want to ex give an access to uh, test 3 and then the next set of questions is what level of permissions we want to give we want to give a full control read write let's say we want to give a full control and what type of permissions uh, let's say this folder subfolder files and we want to give a allow type permissions and hit submit now the same thing happens here in the background it just triggers uh, automation anywhere bot and it goes about uh, giving permissions uh, on the files we have requested now let's have a look at another bot which is about creating a Salesforce account now we have uh, we, we will will enter all the prerequisites which we require to create a Salesforce account let's say in this case of alias we want to give alias as James and pa username is James uh, dot bond at 007.com yeah and James bond and is a standard user we select the type of profile and the time zone zero and we hit submit that goes in the background and creates uh, onboards a user on Salesforce now let's try to see how successful our other bots have already been so if I quickly go back to our service request uh, let this uh, load in a moment so this 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 is a very effective way of uh, easing the work of the help desk or including uh, the option of self-service where you can fulfill so many requests uh, and introduce a zero touch automation there we have it so let's start with active directory request as you can see all these requests have now completed and Salesforce request is in process now if I go and click on active directory request so for the sake of demonstration I have uh, brought down uh, written down the password in the comment section through the uh, workflow but in the ideal world this wouldn't be the case the password would be delivered uh, either through an email or through SMS or any other delivery mechanism but this goes to show how simple it is to reset the active directory password and you don't need uh, uh, you know any other systems to do it and the similar thing for active directory grant we will have a message something called as active directory grant successfully done and if we go back uh, to the Salesforce account it should also tell us uh, if the Salesforce bot were, uh, was successful now just to well have a second level of validation so Salesforce account if we go into the output logs 
uh, output folder of automation anywhere we will see that the new user james.bond07 was created and the password of that user is already set now the same thing for uh, uh, the file grant access we had uh, requested for test 3 uh, file system and it was of uh, folder files and subfolder to user Aryan. So that is basically a brief introduction of what we can do uh, to integrate BMC Digital Workplace with Automation Anywhere. Hope you have uh, liked this video. If you have any further comments, questions, how it is done, uh, and what other uh, you know values Fusion as a company can contribute to you, please uh, get back to us, uh, and we'll try to uh, you know look into your use cases. Uh, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.